some of us out here on the west coast uh, and I guess a uh, good afternoon evening other places around the globe there uh, July 8th 2019 1048 a.m. Pacific time here in California and uh, take a look at the earthquake 3d globe and also some data over here on the left hand side still shows uh, earthquake activity occurring in the southern California region following that 7.1 earthquake uh, quite a few days well a couple days ago now uh, kind of going on that time frame here where uh, we're getting further away from that day uh, that it happened but the aftershock activity is definitely continuing um, as I pulled up here on this map this map here shows the last seven days of 2.5 and above earthquakes and zooming in just a little bit closer to the area of interest here uh, in Southern California near the Ridgecrest area uh, shows you the uh, continued ongoing swarming or aftershock activity uh, and at least in this map we're looking at 1182 earthquakes of 2.5 and above over the last seven days um, getting the most recent uh, total number right now looks like we're at uh, 5,120 earthquakes so another thousand earthquakes since the uh, update video last night so still pretty significant uh, ongoing aftershock activity and uh, still a big deal down there that's for sure for the folks in uh, Ridgecrest area uh, nothing big has happened as far as like aftershock activity we've seen quite a few twos and threes uh, I believe we've seen a couple fours in there as well. There was only a couple fives following that 7.1 7 uh, 7 earthquake there a couple days ago, but that uh, has just turned into a bunch of fours. There's a four right there, 4.5. Um, and then I was looking through this here, I just didn't see any larger earthquakes, but there's just a staggering amount of quakes uh, to look through. Um, migration of the earthquake activity is still uh, pretty much in the same area as we zoom in a little bit closer here you can see it stretching from uh, uh, from one point up here uh, down to the south kind of like a sidewards type T uh, but there's a little bit of uh, area of concern further up north here uh, um, kind of towards the Coso volcanic field and I was looking at some let's see if I can zoom a little bit closer here I was looking at uh, a little bit of uh, fault systems out here, but it looks as though... Ah, shoot. It looks as though they may have removed them once again. Or at least, no, they're still down here. There's just... Yeah, like, see, I can pull up... Uh, raise this up a little bit, and you guys can see what I'm talking about here. Like, uh, what they call that? The airport fault? Yeah, see, it still shows the fault zones out here. Uh, but over here in this area, this part where the swarming activity is happening, I'm just not seeing any type of, uh, or where this new swarming activity is occurring away from uh, the main band down here. You see that little gap in between there? Uh, there's some uh, uh, definitely aftershock activity with just a new red dot popping up there. Looks like it's a, uh, see what the exact magnitude is on that one looks like a little 2.8 um, but I'm not seeing any type of fault systems within that area so it'll be interesting to watch and see what happens uh, as of course as we move forward I did want to show you guys a pretty cool image here of uh, the epicenter and um, the epicenter is uh, let's see if I can point this out here. I don't believe you guys can see my mouse, so unfortunately that's gonna suck. But there's a little crack. If you guys look, uh, let me see your pinpoint a little bit here. I wonder if that'll let me zoom in a little bit. Hold on a second here. Uh, is it gonna let me... I don't believe it will, but... This is an overview. You guys can kind of see a crack. Uh, not this, not this water type drainage canal over here to the left, 
but further towards what looks to be like a uh, house or something out there in the desert there's this thin line crack um, well let me let me bring this one up here hold on a second here I did get this image off of uh, off of the net uh, but this one right here will show you guys kind of like a before and after um, before and after shot zoom in here this guy had it posted up on his Twitter account here so went ahead and figured I would show you guys the uh, the fault and rupture that uh, they're talking about there you can kind of see the surface rupture over there on the north uh, kind of towards the north um, navigation arrow there and the epicenter is right there where of course where it says epicenter you can see that pretty significant uh, surface rupture the crack in the surface there uh, and of course that's uh, right at that 7.1 magnitude location And if you look over there towards the uh, left side bottom screen, you can also see uh, it says dewatering, but there's a you can see new cracks over there. Kind of looks like that crack goes right through that uh, drainage type area, and um, pretty much uh, creates some new surface features out there in Southern California. Pretty interesting. Um, like I said, I. I I don't believe this is over by a long shot. I still think uh, we may see something a little bit uh, larger over here over the next couple days or so. I mean, uh, they put a time frame of a week out there. Um, potentially something significant happening. Of course, the chances right now are kind of low, but uh, I still think there's definitely activity out there that uh, will pop up here soon. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, Pretty cool little graph there. Definitely a lot of power behind that uh, behind that quaking. 7.1 is no joke. Still got some more earthquake activity right now. Looks like a, what do we got? 3.5 coming in there to the Ridgecrest area in Southern California. That's these two graphs right here. Also showing up in Mammoth Lakes and that looks like uh, Southern California near San Diego as well. San Andreas fault systems having some issues there with cutting in and out of data so I'm not for sure what's going on there but definitely a good signature of a spike there on the globe with a 3.5 magnitude Let me pop that back up how it should be and now now we got another 2.9 but uh, what did pop up was that 3.5 probably being flatlined here I could probably even find it and show you guys the uh, you know where's the 2.9 it's somewhere in there but uh, yeah earthquake activity continues folks in the Southern California range uh, I will be off and on here all day today uh, and of course if anything else happens or uh, any more significant earthquakes appear I will be uh, popping up here on the live stream so for now I gotta get going, uh, get some yard work done real quick, and I will chat you guys a little bit later. I uh, hope everyone stays safe out there.